Hey everyone, Matt here with Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm going to be planting out some ever-bearing strawberries in my Zipro Towers. Let's do it. Okay, very important when starting a new crop, you need to have the wicking strip. Okay, and I've explained this in other videos. Basically, this is going to be the top of the tower or the top of this uh, particular um, part of the tower. So, you want to have the wicking strip just a little under the top, that way, it doesn't grow too much algae on it. You want to have it about a half an inch, not even a half an inch, probably a, a, about this much. You want to have that hanging into the back, that way it's touching the back of the tower and grabbing the water, and then it wicks the water forward and all throughout here. And then also, uh, you want to make sure that you're setting your strawberry plants, and I'll just give you a little demonstration here. You want to have the root system and the crown. Neptune's crown facing upward um, excuse me root system facing downward so I'll just put this in the middle of the video here okay kind of like that that's the way you want it you want you don't want this crown Neptune's crown to sit in water because it'll rot eventually okay you want those just the crown just a little like that okay and you want basically the water as it comes down to go down the root system if you have it like this the water is going to follow the least resistance it's going to fall basically right out of your towers so you want the water to go back into the tower so that's how you want it like that okay so let's get these set up remember to keep the roots wet too while you're doing this this is aquaponic water from my system as well. So, don't need to saturate them because they were soaking in a bucket of water as well, but just want to wet that media inside your tower because I have to change out all the other ones. I have to put strawberries in all the other ones, so I'm going to need to make sure that uh, the media in that stays wet. All right, so as you guys can see, I got all of them planted out now. Uh, I did want to point out a couple things here. Um, in my system, uh, I don't want the media touching the rain gutter on the bottom that takes all the water back to my sump tank. Also, if you notice the crowns, they're sticking out a bit. Okay? And then um, one of the other things that I have a problem with um, is basically algae growing up here. So what I did was um, I basically made the tubing longer and I'm gonna shove it down in here, in between this media here. And uh, hopefully that won't clog, but if it, it does, it'll start spewing out somewhere else. Um, and then the other thing is, is that I brought this crown almost all the way to the top. I trimmed a lot of the leaves off um, because I want, um, and the strawberries, there was already strawberries going on. I, I trimmed a lot of that off because I just want the new growth to come in really strong. Um, so anyways, uh, I put the strawberry at the top because the idea for me, and, and what I'm hoping is, is that it'll bush out and kind of cover this area, uh, which would be great because it'll block out the sun. One other thing that I wanted to point out, when I actually, um, when I actually put my towers up, or when I'm hanging them up, uh, as you can see, there's two eye holes here on the sides. And if you hang it on the front one, that just means your tower is gonna cock out a little bit more which means the water is going to be more likely to run in the back of the tower, all the way down the back. And we have those wicking strips in there so it'll wick the water forward. 
Um, but I like to have the water basically uh, running more towards the back. All right, there we go. We got all these towers planted out. Lots of strawberries. And as you can see, at the tops, I put the strawberries all the way to the top. And the hope is, is that it will not, or it will help prevent algae growth all the way up there so let's get the sucker started let's turn on the water or the water i wanted to mention one more thing about the the uh, grow media or yeah well it's a grow media the media in here okay this stuff is actually just like um it's like uh, mechanical filtration okay so it basically catches from the top down it'll catch all small particles and it'll catch it in here and then the plants will eat it so um, so this stuff actually really comes in handy and the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I noticed since I've had my towers off to let them dry a little bit uh, I noticed that my um, that my water was getting a little murky and so I'm curious to see now that I have these up it's gonna clear out all that junk so uh, and that's just what I've noticed. Basically, these towers actually filter the water as well, so make it look nice and clear. All right, so we got the water running, and it's looking good. Plants are still perky, and I think we're good. So anyways, if you guys like this video, obviously um, subscribe uh, for more videos. I'm gonna do an update video on these, obviously. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well, and please subscribe and share it with your friends if you think they might be interested in growing strawberries in this manner. Again, this is an aquaponics system. Uh, all this stuff that you see in the background, peppers and all that stuff, it's all grown on fish water. And that is my fish tank. There's a sump tank in the ground and all the water from all these different areas, these different grow beds, they all drain to that point in the tank in the ground. Not the barrel there, the tank in the ground. I got another one of these in the ground, okay? So it's basically running the blood, <laughs> blood or the nutrients through the whole system and all of it's connected. All these Dutch buckets, they're all connected. This is another video on potatoes, but I'm not done yet. So anyway, God bless you guys and like always, peace.